previous video we learned uh, how to get the auth key and what are OTP and transactional routes. In this video we're going to learn how to use the plugin uh, with the contact form 7. So guys I've activated the uh, contact form 7. I've already downloaded and activated it and all I'm going to do is uh, go to contact, contact forms. Uh, this is a default form of the contact form 7 which I'm going to use and I'm going to use the short code of that and then I'm going to create a new page and I'll name it as contact form 7 and I'm just going to paste this short code over here which helps me create this form okay and this is the page uh, this is the link permalink where my form will be available so I'll just go ahead and open that in a new link a new tab in incognito mode because otherwise it's, it will show over here as locked in. So this is the form guys, the name, email, subject, uh, your message. You can see that I can submit the form right now uh, by after entering all the details. Uh, however, once we go ahead and activate, uh, put all the information in our plugin, then it won't allow me to uh, submit the form until I have verified the phone number. Okay, so you can see that um, over here we currently don't have any mobile input field. Uh, so what we're going to do is first we'll go to the plugin settings and this is a place I will uh, you know paste the auth key so I'll go to my uh, message 91 control panel go to API copy this one and just paste it here okay so I pasted that then uh, it's talking about uh, obviously over here you need the sender ID so this needs to be six characters uh, so you can put anything if you have a company uh, for example orion so i might want to write o r i o n it has to be six digits so sorry six characters so i'll put s at the end so you can put your company name or whatever this is completely your choice uh, if you hover over it it gives you the example of how it's going to be like okay then it needs the country code guys okay so currently you have an option to select between all these countries so this is a new improvement in the plugin that we have made that you don't have to manually find out the country code uh, you can just choose uh, you can just search for for example for india and then you know you can select it and it come out populates over here Okay, in the free plugin, guys, you can use only one country at a time. So, for example, if you belong to, let's say, um, US, so United States of America, United, or it's a UAE, for example. Okay, so you can select this. Uh, so, you can just use it for one country at a time. So, if you belong to UAE, then you select that. If you belong to India, you can select that. And you can use it uh, for one country at a time. Okay. Uh, however, if you go for the premium one, then you will have an option called all. This all option won't be available in the free one. Uh, so in the, in the pro one, you'll have an option of all. Then you can select all and then it, you will have an option in the, at the front end uh, where user can go ahead and uh, enter his or own country code. Okay, so let's leave it for India for now. Deal. Okay, great. And then it asks you for the mobile number length. Obviously, if you're going to be using it for multiple uh, sorry, different countries, then you would need to specify what is the length of the mobile number that you want to validate in the form. So for India, it's 10. So I'll just fill up 10 over here. If you hover over it, it tells you that how many digits excluding the country code. So it has to be excluding the country code and not including one. So for India, for example, 10. Then it asks you which route do you want to follow. If you're using the free one, then it will just give you this option. This will be auto-selected. But if you're using the premium one, you have an option to choose between transactional route or OTP route as well. So we'll leave it to OTP route for now. Okay. Then over here, it asks you for some of the selectors, uh, which is basically form selector. Our plugin works uh, based on these selectors, guys. So make sure this information is very correct and uh, accurate. Uh, because if there are any spaces that are left between if you haven't put the right selector then obviously it, it won't be able to find out where your form is and won't be able to insert the uh, mobile input field into it so let's say uh, since our form doesn't have an input field right now uh, we want to uh, insert an input field so how do we do that um, so first thing you need to fill is the contact form selector it says please enter unique body class name and class name or ID name of the div before the form element so which means that guys uh, you'll go over here uh, you'll do an inspect element even if you're not a coder it's just very simple guys so don't worry okay 
you look for you just go right up and look for the form so I've got the form and just before the form uh, you need to look for the closest class so even if this div doesn't have a class this has that's okay you need to look for the closest div uh, which has a class so let's say you want to go for this one which is screen read response okay so I'll go for that one um, but uh, the only thing is that this is not its parent which means this div is separate and the form resides into this div so make sure that it's the parent element so you can see this is the div and inside of which we have the form okay so let's look for this class so you can use this class okay or you can use id also okay so we'll go with the class for now so we need to enter since it's a class we'll put dot if you if it was the id that you were using which is this id if you're pasting that then make sure you would do that with the hash over here but since it's a class then you'll just use dot so that's what it says over here please prefix a dot or a class name and hash for id before the selector okay the next thing you need to do is you need to also put a unique body class name okay so if you scroll up you will see body you need to look for a unique body class name uh, the reason for this is because guys we don't want this mobile input field to be there on all pages we want to be only on this one because uh, other pages might also have form so if we if you provide us with a unique name then it makes it easy for you to put the uh, input element only on this particular page so let's see what do we have a uh, page woocommerce js has header image so let's say so guys you can see page id 144 obviously a one page id can only have a unique name a unique id uh, it cannot uh, two different pages cannot have the same id so this looks unique to me and generally in most cases this should uh, this is something you should look for page id uh, 144 so i'm going to paste that just before this uh, so it says that you put the body class the unique body class name and the uh, class name for the uh, form parent element so you'll put dot because it's a class so dot the um, class name of the body class then space then dot and then the class name for the parent selector of the form brilliant that's all we need over here then just a couple more things before we get going uh, so we need then the submit button selector so please enter a unique body class name followed by the submit uh, button selector so guys even if you're not able to find this contract form selector that's okay even as long as you found the submit button button selector class or id that's completely fine so in the new version of the plugin we have created this option because sometimes uh, the forms don't have a particular id the parents you it may be difficult to find the uh, parent class or parent id so that's the reason we've given you this option that you all you have to do is just fill these three fields and that should be okay but it's preferable to use this but if you don't have it the contact form select that's completely fine we'll just go with it. as you can see that this, these are star marked while this is optional okay great so we need the submit button selector what do we have as submit button so let's scroll down this is my submit button which is send all i have to do is do an inspect element and you can see that this is submit button and what do i need we need the selector for this so let's say we have got a class selector okay and it's WPCF7 form control. Remember, guys, uh, this WPCF7 submit, this is not the class because there's a space in between. This is the second class, actually. It's not the same class, it's the second class, not the part of it. Okay, so like I said, you need to put a dot first and then paste the name of the class. Okay, do you want to create a mobile input field? Yes, I do. So that's the reason I'm selected yes. If you weren't uh, going to, then you will select no and just put the mobile input name there. But since we don't have the uh, mobile input uh, over here, we want to create one, we'll select yes. The last but not the least we need is the template. So uh, basically, what is the message that we're going to send to the user? So make sure, guys, that you use the same format. I mean, the, uh, the content of this template can change, but make sure that this part, which is within curly braces, uh, OTP, this needs to be the same. Uh, so you can just write anything if you want. You can, you can write your password password is or OTP is you can write OTP anything you can write okay. as long as you have this curly braces and you have written capital letters OTP here you're completely fine with it okay so you can write your OTP is this and then all you have to do is just save the form so you can just hit enter and the form will be saved or you have an option to go down 
and just click on save changes we have a big button down there okay so now you can see this has changed all I have to do is uh, come over here onto this form just refresh the page scroll down and there you go you've got the mobile number you've got the country code uh, you've got everything that you need over here okay brilliant uh, so now guys if you try to submit the form now it won't allow you it's saying please verify OTP first so you can't submit the form even if you fill all of these so that's really make your job easier because the user is supposed to go ahead and verify uh, the mobile number in order for uh, him or her to be able to submit the form and this is where you will know that this is actually the valid number okay great so uh, we do did have a choice to put this mobile number somewhere here but every user will have a different uh, requirement hence uh, you know we have not put this mobile number somewhere in between over here because the styling could be different for this and this and we didn't uh, obviously everybody will be different in terms of where they want this particular mobile number hence we put it here but you can always you know speak to us in case if you want to have some customization you can we have a customization packages that you can buy and we can also change uh, where you want to put this uh, as well and give you some customization as well great um great so let's go ahead and put the mobile number and see if this is working okay guys so let's enter the mobile number nine nine six zero Okay, and I'm going to send the OTP now. You can see it says OTP sent to your mobile. And I'm just going to enter the OTP now. Because I have received the message on my mobile. I'll just paste the OTP. Click on verify OTP and you can say that now it says thanks for verification. I can now go ahead and uh, and now I can just fill up the form, you know, uh, and it will still allow me to go ahead and... Um, submit the form okay text and if I try to then submit it it says okay your message has been sent great so you can see that this is how it worked works with the contact form 7 and I'll just quickly take you through how to use it for uh, with the other uh, plugins also in the next tutorials okay see you then bye bye